Earth. Fire. Wind. Water. Stupid sexy Flanders. Heart. Go Blue Moon. By your powers combined, this is Blue Moon Waning. Welcome everybody to a Blue Moon Waning match between Heart and Stupid Sexy Flanders. We have the legendary Fusoya start, as you can see by Fusoya being displayed in the name screen for both of the players. Uh, here with me is Sheep Launcher, um, and he'll be part the other half of your coverage duo today. Joining me is Mecha, who uh, will be the other half of your coverage duo today. It's uh, so much fun to be here on RPG Limit Break to bring you uh, Final Fantasy IV Free Enterprise Highway to the Zima Zone 5, Blue Moon Waning match between Heart and Stupid Sexy Flanders, uh, who is going with the Simpsons naming scheme. Uh, the This one is a best of one. Uh, the winner advances, the loser is out. And uh, getting out at this point in the tournament will be a, a disservice to both of these runners, both of whom are really impressive. Yes. Um... This is actually a double elimination tournament. We have uh, named the upper bracket um, the the waxing and the lower bracket the waning. Um, and we were actually running another tournament alongside this with a different flag set called Red Moon. So there's a lot of free enterprise going on right now, um, but we'll be here to guide you through it. Uh, Fusoya start is a rare start in this flag set. Um, it's a one in 12. Um, Fusoya is the most powerful character uh, in the game, pretty unquestionably. And gets powerful by beating bosses. Speaking of bosses, that's how this flag set works, is you gotta beat seven out of the eight bosses to get your crystal. And so we have a, a rogues gallery here, don't we? The Bull Gauntlet and Golbez always show up in uh, these flags, but the other bosses uh, can be uh, bosses from anywhere. And we have quite a selection, Kainatso, Mom Bomb and Bygen can all ruin your day if you find them in the wrong spot. Uh, Water Hag and Dark Imps are commonly considered free bosses, but uh, you know they hit hard if you find them uh, around a, a dark alley. And finally, you have the Dark Elf. Yeah, a good example of a place where Water Hag can be surprisingly killer is uh, the Leviathan spot moves fast, hits hard, and you might not have the levels. You might think, oh yeah, sure, free boss. And then he just downs every single one of your characters in order. It's like, Especially oh, forward face AI, see ya. <laughs> Especially since in order to get to the Leviathan spot, oftentimes you're uh, traveling across uh, lava tiles. So uh, mm -hmm. your <laughs> characters might uh, be at one HP, but- Yeah, uh, I might make that mistake. <laughs> All right. But we are underway. It's an old man start. Fu and Tella teaming up. Calbrena gives us the pan. We are glad to have you with us here on RPG Limit Break. Ah, uh, the old man start. So that's actually early Tella compensates a little for early Fu's weaknesses, as meager as they are. Um, just because he has exit, he has cure to, right? Like he some stuff that, that it's going to take a few bosses for, for Fu to get rung in and where we really want Fu to pick up that you know, level two attack spell, right? To, to start really getting the team online. So this is actually a fine compliment uh, for the moment, even though like that, that early that early exit is very useful um, for this phase, early phase where we're checking characters and checking treasures. Yeah, Fusoya in the vanilla game, you encounter him very late in the game. He comes with a full panoply of spells and 1900 HP. Uh, we kind of, nerf that a little bit uh, with the, what's called the Fusoya Challenge, which is on. He starts with 500 HP and a random selection of only a couple of spells. He gets uh, three spells every time you defeat a boss, no matter where uh, that boss is. So, uh, Fu might be missing some spells you would really enjoy early on. Uh, Tella has, uh, as, as Mecha said, Exit uh, and Cure 2, which are very helpful early on. Yep, and both characters saw Edward uh, each in different ways. Uh, Flanders found uh, Edward and one of the twins. Uh, Hart went and checked Edward uh, in the bed and found the hook. So we have one of those open hook seeds where the, the underworld's there for you anytime you want to try and take it. Yep. 
uh, Flanders heading into the waterway and uh, finding a bartender. Uh, actually, it's uh, Kane who's uh, hanging out there along with a power shirt. A very nice pickup for Flanders. I am kind of insulted uh, that Flanders would name uh, Kane after Mo because uh, a bartender will never betray you. That's right. What you tell a bartender is in strictest confidence. You also see Flanders looting here, um, and that ties in both to having exit and to the fact that the treasure value is weighted by um, what we call the kind of the pro uh, mindset, where if you rarely go to an area, if the area's out of the way, and if it's later in the game, we'll both increase the value of treasure. Um, and so this is one of those places that because it's out of the way, you get you know more valuable treasure and the exit makes it easy to back out whenever you're done with that. Art in the meanwhile is showing off boss check-in because we're gonna be doing a lot of that in this suit. Yeah, going to the mist cave, finding uh, all of the leg there. Unfortunately, none of the leg is required. Uh, yep. Flanders did show us that one of these spells that Fu started off with is stone. Uh, so if, uh, for example, the uh, Dark Imps uh, show up early on, or maybe uh, the Baron Guards, uh, it, stone provides a quick way to get rid of them. That's right. Um, so, and one interesting thing, again, is like, Fu gets stronger for every boss you beat. Hart could have tried to take that boss there and gotten three spells for Fu right? That's That's... Uh, often a decision around Fusoya is like, how can I fastest power him up, right? And so it's one of the things where he was left in because sometimes it's interesting to see how they pursue the power. Right. And right yep, now, and neither one of them is rushing down bosses. They're both getting equipped. No, and uh, there's not much in the Mist Cave that could give you uh, much of a fight, and Rubicant isn't uh, all that powerful there, but uh, finding, you know, one Boreas maybe uh, would be enough right. to one-shot him, uh, and he'll always be hanging out there. It's true. Yep, you can always come back. Oh, this, however, is Bygen taking a shower. And uh, Bygen is quick here. Uh, not something that's doable super early on. This is the fastest spot in the overworld, and all of Bygen's arms will get <laughs> shots against you. That's a, a that's an ugly fight early. Yep, no, I, I completely support moving away from it. And there's our Cecil, if we didn't have enough potential power already. And I believe it, there was a light sword in the waterway, so... Uh, that's Cecil as soon as our party goes up ordeals, uh, which, you know, now you're triple incentivized to uh, head up ordeals uh, because Tella learns all of his spells, Fu will learn nine new ones and get 300 extra HP, and then uh, Cecil will just start becoming a paladin tank. Right, plus there's actually three bosses up there, so your requirements are, you know, more likely than normal to be, you know, in a place like that. If you want to thank our tracker, it's spelled Aerith, and our restreamer, Eskrunt, uh, it's spelled Aerith, pointing out in chat, uh, Cecil already has, once uh, he becomes a paladin, uh, a crystal armor, a ribbon, and a light sword. I miss that crystal armor. Yeah, crystal armor is often avoided in the endgame because it doesn't let you berserk Cecil, but wow, is its defensive capability unparalleled. <laughs> <laughs> Like, it's, it's only beaten by Adamant, which is not on the table today. Mute Knives if in a uh, hot in Mysidia, uh, which Flanders didn't check. Um, mute Knives are kind of a, a surprisingly useful weapon to have hanging around. It boosts your whiz by five, and it also, it's the Mage Masher. It kills mages. Yes, and a, a surprising number of enemies are uh, mages, including the ones you would expect, like Ashura. Uh, Baron guards are mages. Yep. And so uh, Mecha picked up, or sorry, Hart uh, picked up his uh, Porum and his Edward uh, tells Eddie to hit the bricks and going to check the last character on our deals and Flanders right behind. N or, Flanders, Flanders is actually doing Hobbs. Yeah, they look the same. Yeah, they look pretty similar. <laughs> uh, there's karate. A French vanilla karate. 
Whereas Sword finds karate. <laughs> I'm seeing double four karate men. That's right. Um, so that's our entire character set. We are limited to seven here. Um, so yeah, this yeah. isn't going to be a mage party. This is actually going to be uh, right. Like we only have three, maybe four, if you count the punch mage on the mage side. And I don't know that you're like you're never giving up Cecil. So, right, like, question of whether you want to go with two melees or, or one, or maybe even three. Oh, speaking yeah. of required bosses at, uh, on the mountain. And yeah, Dark Imps. Non, Non-required monsters for Flanders. Uh, Dark Imps up here, uh, you're always happy to uh, see a boss that's required, but you really would rather have a tougher boss at the uh, front end of the bridge here. And right. part... Part sticking with the double old men here and uh, that Fu unlocked uh, exit among uh, other spells from that Dark Amps. Um, Mecha, do you think that this is a long-term uh, strategy or just enough to uh, take care of some things in the overworld and then maybe uh, pick up another Wow, double required there. And Baron Key for Flanders is one of the good key items um, because it unlocks three bosses. One which we've already seen, and two key items. So, very good key item to hit early. And Hart hits another objective. But, yeah. so, back to, your, back, back to your question. Well, they're, they're hitting bosses fast and furious, but back to your question. I think we're looking at uh, the... I think we're looking at the double white mage for double melees. Well, we're looking at... We want two people that can cast Berserk for our two melee characters. And I think so. I think that's why I think Tella's going to stay around a while for that purpose until we find Bacchus wines or something. But like, or if a D machine grind opens up, right? Maybe we swap in Yang and and shoot him to the stratosphere. Yeah, don't forget, uh, Porum is around, and Porum learns uh, Berserk, right? Relatively early, but uh, definitely not yet. Was that Quake on Fusaya's list <laughs> as the second boss? Oh Ooh. boy. This, this ordeal's really paying off for heart. Wow, yeah, that's that's a that's a lot of power. Quake more or less trivializes the overworld. Nothing in the overworld is built to take a quake or a leviathan, right? And so, and, and getting an early quake off of Fusoya is quite strong. And, and an most, bo most bosses Ooh. on the hook route too. Uh, yeah, will will wither to that mm -hmm. seismic disturbance. Yep, uh, Flanders is through Bygen, uh, taking a shower, um, and so gets their second set of spells. Triple wow. required ordeals! Wow. Maybe more, depending on that Earth Crystal. Yep. Wow. So. That is incredible. Uh, you got a bow and arrow, you can't can't do an easy light swap. Um, so yeah, and plus we already know one overworld location. Right. And yeah, Flanders isn't willing to wait for their power anymore. Um, and he's going up the mountain. And but like, also, we'll see Yang. But yeah, we're... You ever see one of those movies that just hits you over the head with its metaphor or with its central uh -huh. point just yeah. repeatedly? Yep. I'm pretty sure that's what this is. Like. Yeah, it's, it's pretty <laughs> big. Um, the, but yeah, no, I've def... I, it really is just like, we just have... A, we have a massive amount of power pending. Um, it like so the interesting decisions here come to right like are we going to do trap chests to get Cecil a better weapon, right? Like given the amount of power we have, ooh, Flanders making a different choice, keeping Yang and ditching uh, the the uh, true white mage. Now this now this definitely speaks towards you know wanting to do berserks with fighters, right? This is straight up free fighters to berserks, right? So that very much so. Yep, so that's what that definitely speaks to what Flanders' plan is. And a black belt to start is very good for an early Yang. Yang gets better with stats um, more than other characters do. And so he's going to have that ribbon. Yep. So going to be uh, relatively useful early on. And Gaster gets the Gaster Blaster. Um, unfortunately, <laughs> you're going to have to find a, uh, a Soma drop to really use it. And Hart uh, will head back down the mountain with his gains. And, you know, if 
if I'm hard, I'm tempted to just go straight for that earth crystal, you know, just continue with this chain. Yeah, I mean, that's that's very tempting. Um, also, uh, Hart did, like, interestingly, Hart has done um, the Edward check, so where, like, it's kind of a double dip for, for him, but, I mean, I think it's still very good. Whereas Stupid Sexy Flanders actually hasn't done that, and so we'll actually get a slight bit of routing advantage being able to do the, the castle full through. And Hart is reading your mind today, that's for sure. At least go check sure. out that treasury. Yeah, check out that treasury early. That's the best time to do it, right? Um, the sooner you loot the treasury, the more knowledge you have about the situation. Light sword power. Is that reasonable? Is that a reasonable overworld set of gear? I no, I think it's uh, completely unreasonable. I think it's Yeah, you're 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 right. <laughs> it, it's obscene is what it is. Yeah, that's that's a very powerful level one Cecil there. And we are seeing the treasury as we would expect, because again, like early we have plenty of equipment slots to fill. A stardust rod would be lovely, right? Like anything for the arm slots, uh, body slots, you know, head slots that increases attack power. Right? Like you know, Edge doesn't have, uh, yeah. Uh, Kane doesn't have a good weapon yet. White shirt, ninja sword, white spear, white spear plays. Runax, so another power shirt. Yeah, that's, we got power shirts for both boys. A white shirt, a white spear for Kane. Um, a bunch of sail bait. Yeah, which we had a radio for those uh, for those orbs, but they will be big money. Yep. Uh, we do. And we also got the tiara for great defense for uh, Porum, right? Like one one person who can use that in this yeah, scene. One person who can use that, but that's all you need. Yep, Hart's got her. Yep, and Hart is pursuing Zot uh, and not checking treasure chests. I like this. The the as fun as it is to try and gamble on the uh, the flame dog chest. No, oh, we are gonna try a little. Um, Gets a cheeky Aegis shield. But yeah. I really wanted to pet a dog there. Yep. Uh, uh, yep, that's a quake, all right. So yeah, <laughs> that's the the world is the the overworld is their oyster in terms of amount of damage. Here, this is the the only spot in the quote unquote overworld that actually has like can take more than one like it takes less than it takes more than two quakes to down these spots, right? So yeah, this spot actually has some HP if it's not split apart. Um, in, in vanilla, it's split apart, but and so it actually goes down pretty smoothly to a to a quake, a powered quake. But yeah, this is this is a we have the rune axe for mage killing. We have holy weapons. We have crystal is essentially a strictly better dragoon, uh, so that gives Cecil the elemental protection, right? Um, yeah. Like this is just incredibly good. We have the silent staff for the third tier of, uh, for like the better tier of staves, like white shirt, right? <laughs> like this is just an incredibly good amount of gear. The, the, the attack mage is a little, little under, right? But Hart, Hart has yeah. to feel like he's loaded for bear. And yeah, like, this is just a great of equipment. Like you could easily stop looting at this point and have a, you know have a serviceable rest of your life dream to stop looting at 15 minutes of a seed yeah encountering dr luge in the first spot and right. i'm so i'm i'm kind of surprised it's not a required box yeah um Honestly. so so this spot has 9,000 hp and it's divided across four mobs because of uh, bal knob z so this is actually a case where we're going to have to burn through less than 9,000 um in the process here um, because and unless you accidentally trigger Balnopsy, then you'll burn through a little less than the 9,000 because Luge's remaining HP doesn't get moved onto Balnopsy. And Stupid Sexy Flanders is through ordeals. Balnab didn't get to hit Dr. Luge. That's my favorite part. It is It is the, the funniest part of the skit. Um, oh no, uh, Dr. Luge will operate him manually. Uh, so that's a bit of a time loss. Minor, but it's there. You know, uh, Balnab Z grind strats are a thing. <laughs> uh, Balnab Z doesn't like to stick around long, though. Um, uh, what does this button do? 
And yeah, super sick of Flanders getting the, the one dip of Troya here. Um, I always like the, uh, what does this button do? Because it means scientific progress going boink. Plus, That's it means that Luge is, doesn't know the buttons to his own creation. <laughs> like, well, I, I think that's just uh, part of the deal. Mm -hmm. And there, Super Sexy Flanders now knows that the hook is, you know, the hook has been available and is available. And, yep, then goes and does the treasury, as we would expect. Yeah, going to find all of his goodies. Good. And uh, Hart going to make sure that uh, Fu is fully healed up. Uh, to... Poison. Are we going to get a poison walk straight into uh, <laughs> the last of Zot? Maybe. Um, so we, there was also a coffin in that set. So the uh, Kaipo guards are, are done. Like, you just throw a coffin with the first person, and that fight's over. Yep. No matter where we run into it. I think I saw Virus on, uh, on Fu's spell list. Could be mm -hmm. wrong there. Virus is the best tier two spell. Um, where, like, the elemental twos and then Virus are kind of in very close to each other. Usually Virus is slightly behind them. Um, but yeah, Virus is, virus is your mid-game workhorse as a single target spell. So, yep, there it is. Quake and Virus are, right, like, they're the Quake Kid pair that the Quake Kid ends up with level 23, right? Like, Quake and Virus. Uh, so, Fusoyaz essentially, right, like, has, has turned into better Palom already. I see a pig with white ears, although uh, that doesn't matter in the first spot. And I um, see a Dark Knight Cecil at uh, the Golbez spot in Dwarf Castle. Uh, that's, not, not a, that's not a scary dark knight. I don't know. Not at all. Yeah. Um, so, not but So, yeah, we're in the same way that Golbez is that fight in vanilla. Uh, still white ears. So, um, we're yeah, looking at a white ears boss. Um, so, yeah, as so this this flag set where bosses, where characters are only in the required or in the notch gated spots has meant that some cutscenes with characters have been the characters have been replaced with pigs and sometimes those pigs palettes indicate something um, uh, with regard to the bosses right. Octomam is a white uh, white ears and usually pretty fast and Valvus is pretty fast but can be slowed down pretty straightforwardly. I don't imagine there's going to be a problem here with three lit casters yeah, of various yeah. degrees. And Cecil in the front row uh, taking some punches without any issue. Yeah, even with the power shirt, right, like a not crystal armor, Cecil's just fine. Yep, and the spell's doing buffo damage. Yeah. And Flanders is... You know, into the uh, end of the luggage fight, and Hart is done with the Octomans. So Flanders is about two bosses behind uh, Mecha in this chain, but has uh, done one more requirement than Hart at this point. So right. our runners pretty even. Yep, definitely. Yep, pretty even. And I mean, the the check that Flanders did pay, right? Like Baron Key is again, right? Like it's like it's an it's one of those items in this flag set that you absolutely want to see because it's because of how many bosses it gates and how many key items it gates. So, um, or like so, so hitting, making sure you don't fade antlion the seed is going to be important and more than likely. And so, Flanders taking that on now is a good thing. Darkness behind Zot. We have the world before we've gone underground. <laughs> My goodness, what a, My goodness. What, a, what a seed. Uh, just almost everything available to our runners within 20 minutes. Yep. And Hart going to go do that that ant line. Uh, now that we've got Cecil with some power, etc., like this is just going to be uh, a stomping. Um, and then Hart will get there. Baron Key. As... I'm half expecting the crystal to just show up as a key item. 
<laughs> we weren't going to make a fight on those bosses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, we're going to go back to ZZ1 flags and yeah. just have the crystal available. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the heart going uh, back to the antline cave. Uh, maybe going to do a tour of the world before uh, taking on that hook route, although I don't think uh, heart is feeling particularly threatened by the hook route. Uh, right. Just would just be nice to clean up everything on the overworld beforehand. Um, and so it's often the case in these flags that you're worried about whenever there's a, a weak based grind available, you're worried about Darkness Crystal, right? Like you might do Fabul because you don't want to miss out on an early Darkness Crystal. We have the Darkness Crystal. There's no need. We like a, the both of them should be aiming for a single dip Fabul at this point, in my opinion. Right, we'll see what they do, right? But like in my opinion, with the pan, right? Like you can single Fabul and what what could you possibly miss, right? Like that would matter. Yeah. So. Yeah, it, Fabul, um, it's a very nice place, and I always feel bad for, you know, encouraging runners to go there as little as possible. But really, it takes time to get there. Yep. And there's and Hart is now evening up the checks. Um, at this point, I think they've both seen every check the other... No, uh, Hart... I don't think Hart checked... Hart knows um, Bygen is at the waterfall. He, I think they do know Bygen's at the waterfall. They reset out, whereas yeah. Flanders took it. Um, so yeah, Hart's going to clean that up. I don't remember if, if Hart was the one that checked, uh, checked the leg or not. I do not remember either. Uh, did not take... Did not take it. If so now, yeah, this this should be pretty straightforward with Quake. Like, I don't. This fight is just over with Quake. Um, yeah. Yeah, although... Gonna uh, little, although gonna have a little faster fight here. But. Although it will be speedy, uh, the arm's not going to uh, stand up to the physical attacks. The Quake will take down everyone in one shot. Yep. And that's the real benefit of not trying to slog through it early, is... Uh, right. You know it's going to be here whenever you want, and uh, you want to come when you can one-shot it. Yep, no, it's not going anywhere, right? Like, you, you want to do it when it's convenient to your route and when you can you know, put it in the bin very quickly. It's not, it's not Bygen is not Carmen San Diego. Bygen is not <laughs> right. going to not moving around, go around the world. At Hart Parking, right next to Evelyn Castle, I think, uh, Mecca, what you were saying earlier about getting that uh, S-tier weapon for Cecil, I think that's what uh, what Hart is after. That's, I mean, that's that certainly would be more power, but like like I said, it's interesting here because we have so much power, right? Like, if you know, if you hit here, right? Like, it's obviously good. If you don't want your opponent to hit and you to miss, right? Like, because it will matter in the Z fight. But the Z fight's awful long, is an awful long distance away, and or like you could always be doing this later. You don't need levels, right? You just you just like levels. Um, so uh, Flanders doing the the double boss check uh, while Hart gets an apple. Yeah, it also picked up a strength ring from the uh, mm -hmm. just right next to it, which is very nice. Yep, that's another very good item to have. Another sword for selling. You know how you remember that uh, AU is the chemical symbol for gold? Uh, how do you remember it? AU, get your hands off my gold. Mmm, -hmm, that's good. Versus AG. AG, I got some silver with me. You can. I don't. Know. Hey, you're working. You I'll, can work I'll work on, on it. it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, there's there's a reason I flunked chemistry. <laughs> um. Yeah, the the sil the apples are Japanese only items that increase max HP by 50 for silver and uh, 100 gold. Antlion goes down smooth for Flanders and just a protect ring here. Um, extra, why are you so uh, stingy with the key items? Just a protect ring. <laughs> uh, I guess we didn't want to. You know, magma key's not going to be up here, so you couldn't put the magma key here. Stardust rod. Okay, that's a hit. Even if it's right, like it's not the hit we wanted, but it's the hit we got, and plus 15 whiz for our main ma black magic caster is gonna help us do some work. 
And yeah, Flanders has too. Much, too. Flanders has too much good stuff. Yep. Oh, Flanders. Yeah, Flanders is selling. Hard is actually against the hard inventory boss. Yeah. Um. So I, I think it's I think and found strength rings in the Baron shop, which. Cat claws. Ooh yeah. Uh, Flanders, Flanders did keep that Yang. Yeah, Flanders did keep Yang, and so uh, cat claws give Yang agility and strength, which increases multipliers as well as his damage. Um, and so like both of those are are great adds. It's the power shirt. It's just Yang. Yang's just gonna be singing in terms of his capabilities at this point. Art finds the third trap chest. Here's where we find out if Cecil is gonna get that sweet, sweet sword um, in this part of the game or not. First real piece of divergence, and Flanders mm -hmm. going to check out that Baron key. Yep, and I mean, like I said, like this, these monster, these bosses have like 4,000 HP. Like they're still gonna fold really quick. Yep, that quake's gonna take out the dolls in no time. Yep, siren for the third thing. Uh, the Eblin Castle is not like not like a complete loss. We've gotten some good stuff, but it's not what you came here for. You uh, came here for the Crystal Sword, and it's not not here. Well, and you can say that um, Eblin Castle is not a complete loss, but it's still haunted. Yes, very and haunted. Canonically, it's haunted. Mm-hmm. Yep. Gary. And, yeah. No, nope, it's definitely haunted. Uh, and, yep, uh, the dolls are going to die. Even though the blue ones have more HP than the red ones, this is 4,000 HP divided across six bodies. It's just... Quake. Quake is going to make this real simple. Like, double cat claws and power shirt. Uh, yep. Yeah. Yank can not, still not knock down an old man. Not in the back row. <laughs> yeah. uh, tier four items in the gated item shop. After this selling is finally done and Hart has cleared out his inventory, we'll find out. Yeah, there will be two tier fives here. Tier fives, yes, sorry. Selling a black belt in this <laughs> face. It's like, nope, Who no needs need. It? <laughs> oh, me second best attack here in the game. Nah. Got too many power shirts for that. <laughs> Hourglass twos uh, and silk webs. Oh, those are those are good to have. Yes, um, I I know Hart was looking for wine uh, mm -hmm. rather than elixirs, but you know he can't have everything. The seed certainly tried. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, no, that's this is you know reasonable. Uh, who has white on Flanders' side? Oof. Yep, white is not quite as powerful as Nuke, given that, um, they're like, but essentially you have the, you have the better stat stacks for the, for the white spells, actually. Um, <laughs> but yeah, it's still an incredibly powerful spell, even if it's a little slower than Nuke. And, and, and he has Nuke. Oh, okay, then it doesn't really matter. <laughs> Let's see, he's got everything. Yeah. All right, Ogopogo is here. Ogopogo doesn't love magic, but what he can't live through won't hurt him. <laughs> won't hurt you, <laughs> I should say. <laughs> what What do you call a, a ruling by ropes? Mm, oh, and Hart sees know. a blue rope. That is a required boss on the hook route. Yep, and it's just Gauntlet as well. Gauntlet at the um, at the Rubicante spot. Well, it could be. Wa oh, yeah, we've already no, seen we've Water Hag. Yep. No, this this is coming out of the overworld with five objectives is very jetty. That, that is above average. I would say the average is probably about three. Right, like yeah. in the overworld is the more common number. Uh, so five is definitely above average. Um, so, so that gauntlet there will get your grind kick started. Yeah. Uh, and uh, some fun fights in <laughs> in that huh. gauntlet. I believe it There's ends with it starts with and ends with an egg. I believe. Yes, I, I think it does, and but then then the middle's a bunch of multi-targets, right? Like, but we have Quake, so that's not a problem, right? And, and yeah, like, the, the and it starts with Hourglass twos. Yep, and so, so I got, and like I think they're green dragons in the eggs, yes. at least in one of them, right? Like, which are actually kind of tough if they crack. Uh, strength ring <laughs> in Baron, so no more key items there. Is Flanders gonna check the basement? Or oh, they're gonna rest. 
He's gonna rest for sure. Yeah. I think, uh, and I think like, it's only the last one that's the green dragon. I think uh, uh, Flanders would uh, be well served in checking the basement. You can always reset if it's yeah. something tough, but there are enough free bosses out there that uh, that even if it's not required, if it's doable, it's a huge influx of XP. Yeah, no, I, I like this. It's again, I like knowledge. And this is a case that just lets you know, right? Like, it's like, oh, like, I'm virtually, it's, I'm virtually at five, right? Like, and so, like, you can start face checking as if you were at five, right? For example, right? So, like, the knowledge here is valuable. Uh, that, in fact, it is. The guards where you can just uh, cough in the back one and you're done. But Flanders isn't in for that right now. Well, we don't know if that's the uh, Kaipo guards, the officer soldier, or the Baron guards. Um, oh, okay. I thought I thought we'd seen Baron guards, but must be must not have. All right. So yeah. yeah. Either way, that's that was eminently beatable, but that doesn't mean you have to want to suffer through it. And yeah, Rubiconte is going to go down real quick. One punch. One punch, Yang, and and Rubiconte is done. Just. Oh, hey. Queen. There's there's a vanilla for you. And so you want to find King Queen Eblin in a place that actually gives experience but uh, absolutely no issue here. No, it's this will be fast. They'll get through their script pretty quickly and then um, you'll be able to move on. And yeah, it's as you kind of mentioned earlier with, uh, with Water Hag, um, you know, you, you would like to see easy bosses at hard spots and not the opposite. Right. Um. And Flanders going to check out Castle Evelyn as well. Wonder if Flanders feels behind after that Baron key check kind of strikes out. Maybe? I don't know. I mean, it's the same thing for, that I talked about where people are worried about somebody else getting a crystal sword and therefore, like, powering past them. But I question how much faster a, a crystal sword would make anything but the moon at this point, given that we have Nuke... <laughs> nuke on Fusoya. And uh, Hearts of Fu uh, whiffed on a stone cast of that egg. So just do a virus. That works just as well. Yep. You don't have that much HP. <laughs> blade Man 3, yep. I'm a Blade Man, man. Mm. Uh, blade Man, blade men, uh, like the Baron Guards, have counters. Uh, um, right, it's the same sprite. They, they do, in fact, also have counters, despite being Blade Men and not mages, but yeah, they are not going to live for a yep. Yeah, they fall in a hole. But yeah, if, if you're ever facing this gauntlet, right, like, you want to kill them in one hit because they do have relevant counters. Grudgers are just upgraded uh, whispers, I think. It's the first version of it. They're not really anything of note. Not, not all of us went to Grudger College. No. No. I, I had a raise decided by this spot, by my attempt to do this spot earlier than my opponent. Mm. Uh, so I'm, I'm, I have opinions about the monsters in this spot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna use a sorcerer blade man fight, um, and yeah, again, my like quake's just gonna make this fold. Yeah, already on the fourth out of five fights, um, mm -hmm. Hart just beating his way through. Yep, I'm not gonna let the sorcerer summon anything. And uh, yeah, Fusoya has the MP for five quakes in a row, so there's not a problem. Yep, and not even going to try another stone cast. I would have been tempted to try another stone cast just to allow you gotta it. Edge. <laughs> and down. No worries at all. No worries at all. Yep. And no EXP on... <laughs> on uh Pella, right yeah yep uh looks like hard is aiming for right like uh as you kind of intimated right like once Porum can pick up the white mage um purpose right like tell is just gonna lay there on the floor orbs at the top of tower uh mm -hmm. not a required boss i have to imagine with everything in our runner's inventory that keyless tower is not going to be a big priority yeah, and, I, uh, I, mean, I was going to say that usually you do keyless tower if you're looking for darkness, 
um, and or if the boss is free. Orbs are kind of free, but they take a ton of time. And they're actually not very, like, they're not great for a mage party because uh, the, the CPU reflects itself. So you're kind of faced with this choice of do we quake it down and take Globe 99 to the face? Or do we try and melee its back row things? And just, yeah, it's not fast. And so Hart will begin his uh, tour of the underworld. And uh, I did want to note that uh, uh, Hart's uh, food did get warp uh, that last time. Oh, the Tomra has the wine. Uh, yeah, Tomra has the wine. And so... the food getting warp is only uh, notable insofar as don't even have to waste a life potion on Tala to wake him up for <laughs> for the warp glitch in Dwarf Castle. There's a lot of stuff in this inventory to sell. <laughs> yeah, you don't don't need that change rod anymore, probably. Don't need that change rod. Definitely don't need the blitz whip. Lilith I'm rod, you're probably I'm not going to use. that he's keeping the lunar staves, um, mm -hmm. but struggle. I Maybe it's sentimental. Maybe it's sentimental. Maybe it's because he wants to keep one and not two, but his his cell was on ten, right? Like so, he doesn't want to lose both of them. That happens to me plenty of times. You take the 10 cell, and then you're like, oh, wait, I don't want to sell 10 of this. Yeah, I got to hang on to one of them for personal reasons. Right. Um, and we're, both care, both of our runners have done some significant uh, spell management on the mages. The spells can be reordered in your inventory, and both of them have done that to good effect, you know, raising Quake up, raising Nuke up. Right, like, because unlike the other characters which get their spells in pretty much a defined order, you know, foos are random, so it's not even like you have the muscle memory of, oh, like, I know that this is where white is in the list, even if I don't pull it up. No, you don't. It could be anywhere. Um, so, foo definitely prompts you to do that. In the Fey March, finding uh, yet more vanilla, a nice rat tail. Gonna check this Fey March shop. Uh, coffins. coffins. Still no sirens. No, no sirens. Uh, I like picking up a couple of coffins with the free bosses that we have out in case you run into them on the moon with their big bags of HP. But we know we have at least one already. Aren't looking in the armor shop, probably looking for a cursed ring. Yep. Uh, cursed ring is a very important piece of agility ma manipulation equipment, and it's kind of the only thing that Art's missing, really. It's like, it's this, this party is Z-ready as soon as you get some levels. Right, like, And you can do that on the giant if you have to. Yes. Uh, the uh, D-Machine grind is certainly in play. Uh, one required. required. Gross, but required. Gross, but required, yeah. Um, well, I should say, sorry, objective. Um, but yeah, that, that puts us at six known objectives with... Uh, Golbez and Dark Elf continuing to play hide and seek. But yeah, that is an ugly spot for Mamba. I mentioned the Lyathan spot before. Yeah, it hits hard, it's fast. And the bombs are not going to be like, you know, 100, 200 HP bombs like they would be on the overworld. No, they're going to be big honking chunks of HP. Yeah. Um, with, and that, that, that will be glad to explode on you very quickly. That, spot. that is definitely something that you want... Uh, a boss that you want to take care of after your grind. Yeah, if, uh, if you you can get past the exploding phase with damage, you need a lot of it though. And so having white on Horum, having, you know, more better swings out of your melee fighters, right? Like can help you speed through that and not have to deal with six incredibly high power attackers that are gonna explode. Sexy Flanders taking the uh, the Staleman chest, which Hart did not. Avenger. Oh, that pays off. That's a, that's a fine sword. That is arguably Kane's best weapon, and it is a, certainly a good one. Hart picking up Sorcerer Robes from Dwarf Castle. Makes sense. Sorcerer Robes are honestly some of the best. They're, they're the best um, stat and defensive gear in the game for mages, except for White Shirt, right? Yeah, and Hart keeping the white shirt on uh, for him, but decides to humor Tella and let him wear something. And 
that's there are no sirens in on the blue planet. If they might be oh, on the moon. Uh, might be on the moon. <laughs> and oh. Luca, Luca being a champ here and going back into the <laughs> corridor twice. Wow. Heart, heart Luke, correctly moves around that. And that's Luca was about to go out and then, oh, I forgot something. I forgot something. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and Flanders is, is digging for chests as well. Uh, finds an Artemis bow in an open chest. And is likely gonna do the mad ogres again, but like that's a, ch a chest that Hart didn't check. Or like it really does feel like Flanders is just like I have to find that crystal sword. Yeah. Yeah. The the fear of missing out on a crystal sword is real, and and Flanders might be experiencing it now. Yeah, I mean it's it will speed up your Z fight. Like that's not a question. Right. Like if you're not doing pure mage strats. A crystal sword is like 6,000 damage a swing, right? Like, compared to, like, light sword, it's going to be like 3,000, maybe, right? Like, I mean, it's absolutely going to speed up your Z fight, but, right, like, there's only so much time you can put into it with a seed this jetty, right? Like, the seed's really jetty. Like, you're not going to get much return out of your crystal sword. Um, unless, like, unless Golbez and Dark Imps are playing the best game of hide-and-seek. Hart now has Nuke and White on Fu. Uh, Hart also has six key items at this point. And if this seed continues to be as generous as it is so far, uh, Hart could be at 10 key items with just the really free available checks. Uh, two key items from uh, Dwarf Castle with the Warp Glitch, and then Hart also has the Pan, and that's three key item checks. Yep. Uh, and uh, the Zeus Gauntlet was in that uh, Mad Ogre's chest, which is the best arm slot for for attackers, for melee attackers, and so that's that's another upgrade to Cecil or Kane or um, Yang. We'll see where they put it, but yeah, it's uh, and yeah, the Dark Knight not really hard there, and Hart's going to finish off the sequence, the Dwarf Castle sequence momentarily. The hardest thing about Cecil was just listening him give that boring old speech again. Yep. So Someday why does you will Dark see, Knight... he says, but I'm, I'm still waiting. <laughs> why does Dark Knight Cecil have a red hand? That doesn't make sense. That, that actually doesn't make sense at all. I mean, he's pretty clearly wearing all of the dark armor. Where's the red hand coming from? <laughs> Very odd. And it's not like we uh, nuked that Dark Knight Cecil uh, to burn him under that armor. So it just doesn't right. make sense. It doesn't make sense, no. It's, it, and it's an armored hand, too, right? <laughs> All right. Flyadoos is through King and Queen. Dragoon Spear. Uh, nice spear. Yeah, that's that's a very good spear. Uh, that means that an egg grind would be excellent. Um, you know, Sirens on the Moon also right, like would provide excellent grind uh, for that doesn't require MP. Pink tail, both tails. Crowder's dream of a seed. Crowder's dream, yep. Um, single dip for bull, single dip uh, cave, uh, am yeah, adamant cave. And Flanders is into the the, uh, the gauntlet, downing Tella. Looks like is going to be taking a similar position um, uh, where it's just one, what, one general mage and three meleers. Um, and so, as long as Flanders goes to the the, to, uh, the southern so the southern town in the dwarf area, will be in good shape on those berserks. Going back down into the Fey March and wants out leveling. Yeah, wants to take on either that mom bomb or that sparkle or both. This is a little surprising, uh, a little gutsy, honestly, um, given that you have so many. Right, like you have. Four open free key items at the moment, plus the darkness crystal. There's there's a lot. You have access to a lot of tools, a lot of you know things to check at this point. Picking this one is. It does get you to six, and six is you know maybe Hart doesn't want to go to the moon without six, right? Like because when they find their seventh on the moon, they're done. They don't have a pass yet. 
Right. Uh, so right. They might want to end up on the moon. Yep, exactly. So yeah, you wanna you wanna do this before you go to the moon, but these are levels are a touch low for, for this fight, I'd say, so this will be interesting. If very aggressive, yeah. Yeah. If the uh uh, if the mom bomb and the sparkle do contain uh, key items, uh, mm -hmm. can also uh, kickstart your grind by getting you to 10 key items where your uh, EXP doubles uh, for every fight. So that might be in the back of his mind too. He might want yep. to might want to get 10 key items uh, and then never visit the underworld again. Yeah, that makes sense. Um... Yeah, I the. It's surprising, but none of the sparkles are all that bad at the Asura spot. The really? Lunars are annoying. I guess that's true, yeah. We do not have a Moon Veil that I've seen. Oh, uh, yep, Hart is learning what I told you all before. Mommy! Mom, mommy! Mommy! Hard, and it is incredibly, right, like, you really don't want to go in there underpowered because she will make a mess of you. Yeah. Yeah, she hits hard, she hits fast, and Hart, uh, deciding discretion the better part of Valor, don't blame him one bit. I'm, I'm, I like that the Hart didn't, like, throw themselves against it, right, like, here. I really do think that this fight is, you know, borderline undoable, right, like, in any safe way at this point. Um, uh, Moonveil, which, uh, Aerith mentioned, um... Right, like, uh, that would be a completely different story, because yes. you now all you have to do then is live through the first explode, right, and, and burn down the the uh, child bombs, right? Like, that's, that's a way different fight, because, yeah, when I said a lot of physical damage, I wasn't like, oh, like, you know, you know 900. No, I was like 2,000, right? Like, a lot of physical damage. That was 2,500 on, yeah. on Fu. And Fu was in the front row and didn't have uh, much in the way of armor at all, but still. Where else are you going to put them? Speaking of key items. That is a key item. That is a boss chai. And, and Flanders uh, going right for the key items. Yeah, Flanders going to find that package right away. Heart up now to eight key items. Mm -hmm. I personally love doing where, like the, the pan check early. Just it, It's another information thing in the sense of it, like, knowing what your key item set is lets you know, but like, again, like how much are you going to face check? How much are you not going to face check? Right. So like key items taking care of at least the first part of pan here, um, knowing that you're going to have to go above ground at some point. I like. And Hart going to get all of his uh, uh, key items taken care of right away. Going to make the Sheila check and then take that hovercraft to the Adamant Grotto. Yep. That's what I would think. Uh, yeah, Fauci in uh, Fauci in uh, chat mentioned that same question. Yeah, no, they're the the tail turn-ins are going to be checked. Usually, they get routed in right, like with Sheila. Um, if you get the tails in the underground, that's exactly what happened here. So we're going to we're going to see kind of you see, we're going to see the reverse of of kind of doing it in, uh, in where you do Sheila and then uh, and then the tails. Right, um, because that means carrying the the hovercraft, for like a little extra, and Flanders doing similarly, but finding not that up the hovercraft. Hart finding the REI outlet in the pool, and oh that my is, gosh, that is Dark Elf. Art runners are in go mode. Our runners are in go mode. They have access to the moon. They have access to seven bosses at this point. And Flanders is about to find out, certainly, that the six of seven of Flanders hasn't seen uh, Fey March yet. But yeah, the moon can at most have Golbez, and who wants to fight Golbez anyway? We do not have time to listen to Golbez's Type 5. We just don't have it. We don't. No, I would strongly recommend against it. And so uh, Hart will continue on to Sheila in order to get those 10 key items, he would think. Yeah, I would, I would, that's fast enough, and we are at three, to, we're at eight, right? Like, so there's a reasonable chance that we'll hit it. And, yep. It's too bad we're not at seven here, because that would, you know, that'd give you the crystal. That's another key item. Here we go. We get a key item here. They're completely synced, and it's a sand ruby. Useless, but it's a key item. 
and it gets Heart to within one of that magical ten. Yep. So now we see if Sheila's got some goods for us. If Sheila has like the twin harp and the pass, uh. Oh, if, she, if Sheila has has the pass and a key item, that's be unreal. Spoon. That's a key item. Key item. Heart has ten. Power. It's another key item. No, we are. It's two, grind two. time. It is grind, grind time. time. Yep, heart. Yeah, and heart. Right, like they have access to the D machine grind as stands, or they can try and hit sirens on the moon and do a double dragon, or three. And Flanders' next choice here will be interesting. Flanders has more uh, options opened up to him. He has that tower key. Uh, does know that he needs to go underground, but uh, where underground going to be a real big decision. Now, this is interesting now. Like, Hart kind of had the option to skip uh, the tails here. Like, like, you don't need them, but goes for it. Rattail has twin hearts. See, he's got chains. Probably, go, probably hoping for the pass there. Yeah, hoping for the pass, hoping for a crystal out of the pink tail. Just another Dragoon Spear. And Flanders doing what you kind of intimated with the, the tower key, or like the tower key is tempting, and Flanders not leaving a save on floor four makes me think that Flanders is planning to either do the tower key and dip and dip right back out, or, yeah, yeah I think that's, that's what we're looking at here. Half tower play, definitely an option. The Penguinator special. Uh-oh. Uh, it's Wyvern. Wyvern. Thankfully, you should be able to... Yeah, this yeah, magic card is really bad. Yeah. Two dodges and three didn't even fall over, and then 1,000 HP, it's done. Like, yeah, one of the weakest blargs in the game. It is. Still scary. Still scary. Oh, no, because if you don't remember that it's one of the weakest blargs in the game, you're just spreading it. Like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> uh, the old men uh, dodging the Blarg it, it, it's something they write epics about I think Yeah. yeah. did I mention that the white shirt is the best defensive gear for a mage because uh, it's <laughs> what Tell wearing and Hart is finished launching the big whale the biggest of whales Flanders in yeah. full face check uh, mode not yeah. going to uh, I strongly with agree with that when you have six yeah. right? Like you really should be face checking and Sanders, uh, Sanders, Flanders knows what's at the uh, what's in the second spot in dwarf, so that also kind of incentivizes not doing dwarf, right? We yeah. have darkness crystal. We don't need key items. We would only like them, right? Yep, exactly. And heart going siren fishing. Yep. And it's a miss. There are no Bible sirens in the seed. No stealable ones either. No, the, uh, no uh, edge. Yeah. So, yeah, you could take moon boxes, you could take sylph cave boxes, you could do a D machine grind. Could you just you do power. a moon boss grind. Mm -hmm. Just a moon boss grind. All right, like, there, there are a lot of options. Right, like, and this, I think this is just very interesting. Like, it's how you're going to cut this down. Right, like, how are you going to get to the point where this party takes on Zeromus? Right, because you have been denied the easiest choice. Do you really want to go to the giant and D machine grind, right? Like and set it up and everything when you're only going to kill what three D machines? That's pretty fast. Not gonna lie. Um, it does uh, have two uh, sirens? Yeah, uh, you have one, two, one. yeah, two sirens is going to be three hundred sixty thousand eight XP. That is a lot. And Bahamut in the Bahamut cave. Mm-hmm. And so yeah, we're gonna. This is gonna be a a, a double dragon grind um, for thirty six, you know, three hundred sixty thousand eight uh, XP at least, which is going to do a very good job of getting the melee characters up to fighting levels. Um, mages require something in the you know in the nine hundred thousand to million range, whereas melee characters are pretty good with a you know pretty functional with a five hundred thousand or so. Yeah, did Flanders troll us with the job dwarf check? Uh, going into the room and not, and not showing us, or did I just miss it? 
I, I think, I think he did. I think he trolled us and just exited out. So Flanders, hopefully going to discover the truth. Um, also, Flanders didn't have the rat tail. I think that's why, you know, Flanders didn't set up for that either. Right, like now Flanders has the rat tail, right? So their routing there was different. All right, um, did we not buy? Okay, we did buy hourglasses. I was just like, like did we not buy hourglass? Because yeah, hourglasses are really recommended for a king of your grind. It speeds things up quite a bit. Yeah, and uh, weak will also help, but uh, yep. with a dragoon spear, not necessary. That's right. Uh, type weaknesses, like, you know, mage, dragon, etc., are 4x. So they are absolutely devastating. And that's what we're that's what we're seeing there is the dragoon spear is you know even on the level thirty king was just tearing through stuff. Also, I did not buy any hourglasses, uh, but if you did, you could just give me some and I'll then mow you later. <laughs> well, unfortunately, I didn't buy any hourglasses in my last seat either, and it cost me. Uh. Uh, and yeah. uh, heart, uh, going back down to battle speed three. Mm-hmm. Ooh, um, and uh, Flanders is about to find out the bad news. Well, Flanders, the now, Flanders now knows that it's, uh, right, like that, the, the go mode is here. Yes. Right, it's as soon as you can beat this boss. Flanders also knows that all the shops are nothing. Oh, doesn't know that Dwarf's out of Sirens yet. Hasn't done Dwarf, but. Also doesn't know about the- Gonna get that bomb on a shot. All right, well, it's time to learn the gospel. Well, so well, well, good. Good choice. Very much Avenger. so. You gotta Avenger's get as looking. many turns against this mom bomb as you can. I like that. Getting get your event gets out of berserker in the queue. I love it. I love getting a berserker in the queue here. Yeah, even more turns. That's how. You, yeah, yes, that's how you do it. Keeping mom bomb from taking turns without you. All right. Uh, the and uh, have, wait. Having that young in the front row and putting Fu in the back row uh, gives Fu the chance to utilize that. New so Flanders already much better set up than Hart was. Yep. No. And now we've got Blink on, right? Like one of the front row characters. We're gonna berserk Cecil. Uh, he came back road, which is on in this flag set. Uh, so now we're gonna be curing and blinking with the white mages by and large. And now, like this is a beatable fight. This is this is the way that it becomes beatable, right? Like it's like I said, it's definitely beatable, right? Like, but you have to kind of like Mom Bomb has to not trash Tella, for example, right? Like, or you wouldn't get you know, spells as fast. Has to not trash like your front row fighters, right? Like if it went if they went Kane into Yang, right? Like or vice versa, right? Like this is a very different fight. Right, like not having a berserker in queue means that she's going to take more turns. So it's yeah, it's somebody's you know talking about it in chat. It's possible that Hart is going for the seventh boss as their grind. Right, I don't think they forgot about Mom Bomb because they went and they went back to Mom Bomb and got got ranched. Right, whereas Sex Super Sexy Flanders is actually through. Right, like so despite finding Mom Bomb first, Super Sexy Flanders has the crystal at. Uh, almost at a little over an hour. And so... Let's see. And the and crystal, crystal sword! sword. Oh, no need to dig, my friend. It was already waiting for you at a required boss spot. And and if you're Flanders, do you start thinking, like, how many levels do I need? I don't need that many. Right. No, I think I think this is, this is inducing Flanders to go in with, you know, with essentially, right, like, power couple strength. Right? Like... We have Cure 4, get Foo Ether. Yeah, we, yeah, like it's Foo and Friends, right? Like slash Power Couple Strats, right? Like we have Cure 4s, we have, you know, get Ethers, get Cure 4s, and have Cecil put Zoromus in the dumpster. 6,000 HP at a time. Yeah, and with that Avenger, Crystal Avenger. Oh, man. Goodness. That is, that is good power. No, I, I mean, if Hart doesn't find Golbez quick, I like this, like, Hart's lead was is slipping away, right? I think I think Hart was unequivocally in the lead, right? Like while we, mm -hmm. while you know, Mom Bomb was unbeatable, right? Yeah. But as soon as Sexy Flanders had that good Mom Bomb fight, like the tables had turned. Yeah, and 
Uh, Flanders did get a little bit of luck with that Mombom fight, but Flanders absolutely had the right approach to it and did it masterfully and, and deserves this lead that he's in. Yeah, no, that's a, it's a classic case of, right, like, you, you right, like, the, the, lu the luck puts you in position, but your skill needs to carry you over the, over the hump, right? Like, if you have good luck, you can still mess it up if you don't play it right. And Flanders did that great, you know? Lost one character to the punches. The important characters were back row, didn't hit Tella, right? Like, got Berserk out, so you got started Q jamming. Just nothing but good decisions there. Um, and was rewarded heavily. So, yeah. I'm going uh, to go to the Crystal Sword Altar. Uh, Golbez here is about the best place that Golbez could be, not only for uh, Hart's situation, but the fact that magic power here is a joke. Yeah. No, nope, that's... Yeah, this, this would be, I mean, it'd be Golbez fight, but it would be fast. And Flanders not going anywhere else. I think Flanders is, um, you know, here's Derek. Um, and I think, yeah, I think Flanders is going to crack a couple of the sirens, maybe take a boss, like the, the 42, like the 42,000 HP for 100,000 XP at, uh, at Ribbon Room, right? Like, you know, a couple choice bosses, maybe, you know, crack your sirens and just go. You do have two sirens. You also have Fu with Life Two. Yep. Which, could Life uh, Two glitch? Uh, you want to explain the Life and Life Two glitches? We've seen Life, sure. but Life Two is a little rarer. Yeah. So, uh, in this game, if you cast uh, Life on a uh, on somebody with a zero HP, they get raised up to a multiplier of their uh, vitality, whether they're allies or enemies. Uh, all enemies in this game have zero vitality. Uh, your allies have some positive integer of, of vitality. Uh, but all enemies have zero vitality. So if you were to cast uh, life on a, an enemy that has died, uh, they get raised up and then they instantly die again because zero times the multiplier is zero. So that's a way to basically get double experience. If you life two, a an enemy it regenerates them so you can kill them again so uh you can basically use them to spawn them uh, as many times as you want and get that xp and flanders not going with dragons going with warlocks instead a hundred thousand xp per uh per chop maybe uh flanders might not have picked up as many hourglasses i don't know art still hasn't found what he's looking for just asura um uh, uh golbez is not on the moon or did nope, not check the spot yet yeah hasn't checked the white spear altar okay. uh, did find the d lunars in their vanilla spot Oh, 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 wait, he, he did check Dragon this. Dragon's spot as well. Yep. Yeah, um, nope. Golbez is behind a key item or in the giant. Um, but unfortunately for Hart, that means the, the gamble to avoid, um, to avoid the bomb bomb is not paid off. And quickly running out of time for it to pay off. That's right. Because, yeah, Flanders is through both of the... Yep, doing a great amount of XP there. Like, that's what the the um, Warlock fight is supposed to look like, right? Like, a, you know, almost as much as the D as the um, as the dragons and far less risky. Um, the yeah, dragons will take you down even if you're, like, a fully prepared party if you don't have hourglasses. <laughs> yeah. The, and the uh, Warlocks uh, can get you... Uh, pretty close if you're on your life glitching game. Mm -hmm. And I mentioned like mage killer gear, right? Like um, a, an early mute dagger, which we right, like, had access to, right? Like a rune axe. Like that's all it really takes to tear through them very quickly. Right? Of course, we have nuke and quake and such, but like even as a melee party, though, those mages fall pretty easily when they've been muted or stopped. Landers going to go into the safe room. Has a big decision to make here. Uh, his level's still a little bit low. Does he take a boss or two here uh, for a little more EXP, or does he head straight to the Zeromus fight? So, yeah, I mean, that's the decision he has to make. 
Glass hat. Nice um, hat. And Fu is still gaining spot. That's how much of a Jesse this is. Fu is still gaining spells. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. Heart has had enough of this dump. Yep. And so, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, the moon the moon couldn't really have gone much worse for Heart in terms of bosses on it. Um, so, yeah, now Heart's in the decision of where where do I pursue bosses? Um, whereas Flanders Back is almost certainly off. going for it. Like, your typical, like, Cecil levels for this fight are, like, 45. But honestly, people have easily done it with, with uh, characters in these levels. I think this is an entirely winnable Zeromas fight, and Flanders is going for it. Yeah, yeah. It is winnable, uh, but it is never free. Uh, Zeromas is the big boss at the end, uh, and we got to keep him there for a reason. He's too big, he's too smelly, he's just too much. Uh, but uh, we do give him a makeover, so uh, he looks different every time he's showing us the same spells with uh, the big bag and the video. Heart doing package with chocobos in the in the package for uh, rather than going down for mom bomb. But Flanders is prompting us to ask a question. Mecca, right. do the asking. In the name of the of the moon, we will punish whom? <laughs> and in the name of the moon, we'll send who to their doom? Yep. Pig. <laughs> oh yeah. Heart will. Oh, uh, man. Go to I wonder Village. if we have a piggy Omis. <laughs> <laughs> Heart will go to Miss Village when pigs summon Titan. Oh, that's oh. What's happening. Oh, wow. All right. There's four silk webs in case we miss one. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, Super Six Flanders just setting up their inventory. Ether is near the top. Tella taking on the Cecil role of tossing the crystal onto Zeromus. Ah, Ozma. Is that a, is that a marble? It's, uh, it's the Final Fantasy IX Super Boss. Hmm. Um, he has some weird conditions to access him, and he has like he has like Martin style attacks that'll just put you in the dirt. Just have some have four nines, have them to everybody. Better, like have a day. Um, and yeah, it's just a big orb. <laughs> <laughs> Looks pretty though. Yeah, it's it's a pretty orb, but yeah, Ozma's yeah. the Final Fantasy Nine super boss. Anybody um, try to to take it home and uh, put it on their mantle as a kind of oof. statement piece? Uh, that uh, that nuke hit Cecil hard, but um, a cure four on the right target there. No luck for Hart on that one either. And Hart will have to face the truth that the mom bomb is going to be the best way forward. Or Twin Harp. He's, he's got Twin Harp as an option, and that's got to be what he's doing here. Yeah. So uh, this is Hart's first match in the Blue Moon uh, waiting bracket. Uh, did win a uh, match in the waxing bracket before uh, bowing out to Jay Brunter. Um, Flanders uh, lost uh, in the round of 64 of the waxing bracket to Funnel Cakes, who is making a great run in uh, that bracket. And But uh, Flanders looking to continue his run uh, in the driver's seat, and that Cecil is swinging away. Yep, uh, this this fight looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if we're doing enough damage to skip Big Bang Two, so we're gonna have to take we're gonna have to take that more than likely. And speaking of randomizing, Hart is going to make that twin harp check. Uh, Eddie plays us a different song. There are, I believe, over 400 different songs in the harp uh, library. Uh, I think that's correct, because there's over 500 songs. <laughs> wow. But yeah, it's it's a lot, um, you know, mostly done by, you know, a couple of community members. Um, ooh, virus is not the way I like to do this. Well, uh, Flanders because... has done it. Flanders is through. Just tore that Zeromus up. Flanders with one. It's the time of 1-11-11. Five, six, make a wish. 
Yeah. Duke the Sexy Flanders moves on in the waiting bracket with a winning time of one hour, 11 minutes and 11 seconds. Okay, this is why you don't use that virus. Like, it, it's understandable, it's your most powerful spell and it spreads, but because you get the HP run out prompts at once you get weak. <laughs> so <laughs> it's, just, uh, it's, it's, a, it's something everybody does at least once. And so, yeah, no shade to heart. Like, I've done it before. <laughs> but. All right, Mecca, I think we need to let him hear this. That's true. Let him hear this, and then hopefully Sexy Flanders is up for an interview. Well, unfortunately, Golbez, part of being a jerk, kills the music. Ugh, that guy. And speaking of that guy, we are joined in the booth by Stupid Sexy Flanders, the winner of tonight's match, GG. Oh, we can't hear you if you're talking to us. It's like he's saying nothing at all. Got nothing at all. Nothing at all. Nothing at all. <laughs> well, um, while while Flanders gets his situation sorted out, we'll. Uh... Yes. Hi. Sorry. Oh, there, there he is. Go. It helps to unmute your tab when you put when you put Discord in Chrome. I find. Mm. <laughs> well, uh, your run of that race was masterful. I wanted to ask you about your setup for that mom bomb. Mom bomb at Leviathan, uh, not easy, but you made it look simple. Huh. Yeah, I um, it's interesting. Sometimes I I feel like in my in the way I like approach mom bomb, or at least like on the screen, I wanted to like have my have my avatar like just run around real quick because like i'm just like why are you here why must you be here um and i'm like and i really felt behind for some reason um i think it was because when i went back to do fabul and i saw that there was an objective there i'm like oh no like i'm screwed um and the setup was simply as long as, you know, it, it, that mob bomb fight is typically as long as you don't get uh, the the board AI in like the first couple of hits, you're, you can you can usually kind of figure it out from there. Yeah, it, I mean, Tello was cast in blink. Tello finally had something to do, you know, so besides take a nap. So that's, that's kind of what I went for. And thankfully I had bought those Bacchus, the Bacchus wines before I went down in the Fame March. So I was happy with that decision. Yeah, it was, it's smart of you to identify that board AI didn't kill you there, because that's that's definitely one of the ways that fight goes wrong really easily. It's just 
you know, if it had decided to kill, like, you know, Tella or Kane after your Yang, right? Like, just, like, pop the relevant characters and not let you get in the queue, and then you're dead. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, um, fortunately, Hart didn't have a good experience at that spot and ended up trying to go another way. And so you moved from behind a little bit because you've done more checking of things, more chest checking and stuff, mm -hmm. right? A touch um, to ahead when you suddenly jumped into being in go mode, whereas Hart was like still, you know, searching for experience and searching for, you know, a way to not fight that mom bomb. And it's hilarious because when I got the crystal sword from the mom bomb, I know I was like, I was like, I just, I know I lost. Let me just make myself not look stupid. Like, because it was just like, because I took so many chests looking for a Cecil sword. Right. No, you did. And I'm just you... like, of course the crystal sword's right there. Of course it is. Yep. Okay. I mean, the uh, uh, heart did the did the Eblin chests, but did not do the stone men or stale men or for Mad Ogre's chest. Right. So you took a, you took more chests and more fights there. Where I like to not have it pan out as much, but yeah, it was really. I I laughed when I saw that too. Just like, oh boy, <laughs> this was yeah. right there. Yeah, but I mean, it worked out in the mm -hmm. end, and I, you know, decided to take on Zero Miss Two with lower levels because I just had so much. I had three power shirts, a Deuce Gauntlet, a Crystal Sword, um, all the best equipment on on the melee characters in terms of their weapons. It was yep. it was a really nice setup at the end. And I had a couple apples, so I knew Blue Soya wasn't going to take a nap with the white shirt and a ring. So I was like, okay, I can at least just go straight there unless... And my brain went, okay, if for some reason we're tied right now, maybe I'm in a good spot because I did happen to take a couple more chests and I got some, like, I got that Zeus gauntlet and I was feeling pretty... Mm -hmm. Like, okay, that might make up some time just with sheer power. Mm, but the yeah, entire no. seed was uh, very generous and very jetty uh, uh do you like those kinds of seats are you comfortable when uh everything is coming uh, fast and furious no <laughs> not at all i had a moment where i was frantically looking at the wiki thinking do i just do a e-machine grind like right now because i have a, I have this really finalized party and and I was like, no, usually with the Blue Moon Seeds, just doing the boss checks is going to get you the levels that you need. And I, I find at least that like I don't really spend too much time grinding um, because usually you take so many boss fights or you, you kind of pick up this here or there. But so when it's a jet like that and I'm like, oh, there were three out of three required things at Mount Ordeals. And I happened to stumble upon another required thing in this random spot. And I'm thinking... Do I do something cheeky, like go to the moon? Like, it almost plays with my head a little bit. I'm like, do I just go to the moon? Do I not even try to do the, do the, uh, what do you call it? Do the, do the hook route? Do I just go to the moon and see what's up there and think maybe, maybe all my stuff's up there and I don't even need to go underground today. And it plays with my head. I don't love jet seeds. Um, but it, yeah, it, yeah, I don't love jet seeds. They 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 put me in panic mode. Yeah, they definitely compress the decision space. I can see that for sure. Suddenly, you have to make all the decisions. You have to make them way earlier than you might have. Yeah. Well, then you have Fu too in this one. It was Fu and the Crystal Sword, and it's just like well, the Crystal Sword at the end. But it's like you got all this melee power and Fu, and it's very tempting to like just take. I think I took one additional boss because it was literally one punch and dead boss. So, uh, yeah, that was just like, you know, I don't, you know, you almost don't want to take, you're tempted to take all these fights to power up Fu and you got to like hold off on that. There's a lot of like inner, like, you know, I could be super powerful if I just did this. And it's like, do I really need that right now? I'm on the overworld. Like, it's not that big of a deal. Mm hmm. You got an early quake that was more than enough for the, for the blue planet. Yeah. Well, you move on uh, after 
uh, making all those uh, decisions very effectively. You move on, you'll face the winner of Vitasia and Lofaz. Uh, how have you been feeling about uh, your tournament uh, generally, and, and how do you feel about your next matchup? Um, you know, I was... I think the one I lost, we were pretty close. We were, it was only, it was the difference between a couple of minutes. And I think, um, forget who, I'm trying to think who I was up against. I feel like that, that person is still in it. Yeah, Funnel Cake has kind of, been making a, a really good run in the wax. Yeah. Um, and my view of a tournament is if I'm going to lose to somebody, I want that person to do really well. Um, so I, I, I'm here for Funnel Cakes. Um, uh, for how I've been doing in these last two seeds, I feel pretty good. I feel like, you know, in a way, I sorted out some sort of meta about the blue moon in my head. And if you asked me to tell you what that meta is, I couldn't tell you. I just, it's just like, for some reason, I'm really like doing well. I'm getting like consistent in my practice ones off stream. I'm getting like consistently like under 90 minutes, which I like to be at, and taking some risks here and there, and they're paying off, so it's like, okay, this is kind of like an interesting, maybe I've just signed, I feel like I suddenly got like a little bit of instinct with this finally after running this game for so long. Well, I think it's safe to say that your uh, meta of just uh, winning the seeds that are in front of you is, uh, is yes. paying off. There's no better meta than just simply winning. Sure. Losing is gruesome. Stick to winning. Yeah. Um, all jokes aside, I, I look forward to the next race and seeing how, how far I go. Um, yeah, this has been this has been a really interesting flag set. I like it a lot. Um, yeah. Very simple, very easy. Yeah, you just find bosses and uh, kill bosses. That's uh, that's kind of the the job description. Uh, yes. Mecca, you got any uh, other questions for Stupid Sexy Flanders, our winner tonight? Nope. No. Go ahead. And have a good evening. Yeah, right, I want to say uh, want to say best of luck to you the rest of the way and GGs tonight. Yes, thank you. Appreciate that. And Hart is going in his Z fight and uh, not having a great time. And no, the, the the second big the second big bang was unnerved and took out the mages and didn't quite get through. You know, didn't quite get through what needed to be got through. Um, so going back in. Yeah, definitely uh, applauding Hart for. Uh, going back in, uh, giving it another shot. Mm -hmm. I don't... It, it, it pick up the uh, the Edward Anchor uh, yeah. uh, as well, rather than taking Tella. Um. Now, of all the things that we've seen in this scene, uh, I guess the S in Esperant does not stand for Soma Drop, uh, because we have not been able to give Kane MP. True. Uh, I've not seen... I don't think I've seen... I think there were viable Soma drops, but it's nobody went back for them. <laughs> I doubt they made a note as to where they were. They're not actually all that important. I, they are memeable, which is why we love them. Yeah. Well, while uh, Hart is making that walk back into the Z fight, I do want to thank our restreamer, S Grunt, and our tracker, it's spelled Aerith, uh, for. Uh, joining us here tonight, and uh, thank you, Mecca, for livening up the RPG Limit Break airwaves. You're welcome, Sheep Launcher. Um, who, uh, you know, the person that went unmentioned in that scheme. And yeah, uh, RPG Limit Break is, you know, lets us be on their channel sometimes for tournaments, and we appreciate that. Uh, be sure to, you know, pay attention. Uh, the actual RPG Limit Break event is actually, you know, uh, like a month away, a little over a month away. So um, uh, watch that when it comes up. But here we go with Hart going for Zeromis again. Yeah, definitely 
appreciate our friends at uh, RPG Limit Break, and we uh, promise uh, we will only lightly trash the booth after we're done. <laughs> that I had my fingers crossed. <laughs> they, they don't know that. They don't know that. All right. So here's Ozma again. Yep, we had a Edward through. Get the Zerks in. All right. Ozma's already already vulnerable, so that Silk Web should be coming out soon. Good deal. Who do we nuke? Perfect, Perfect. nuke target. Eddie oh. helped. Eddie helped. He did his thing. That's, uh, you know, 19,000 damage that 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 uh, Zeromus just wasted. Yeah, I mean... 1,900 damage, rather. Uh, yeah, so... Hey, Zeromus, you dummy. Mm-hmm. And you so can... here... And so here we see, a, like, a... Or like, this is... The first Big Bang gets nerfed by any magic action beforehand. Frisk yeah. was sitting on a Cure 3, right? Like, so you... Cure 3 will come out as soon after as it can. And should do a pretty good job. We had enough mage equipment, yep. And so we're back at full again. And we'll see what the plan is for Asgore. Whether it's just another Cure 4 and hope he lives, or whether yeah. we're going to try and nerf. Looks like they're going for the Cure 4. Cecil still doing respectable damage uh, with that uh, light, light sword mm -hmm. that is, uh, you know, uh, we found the light sword at minute one, literally, of this game in the watery pass. Uh, yep. But still a uh, very good weapon. It's just, it's not a crystal sword because nothing is. Right. I mean, it's just kind of the damage range I was talking about, right? Like, it's stuck in the 2000s, you know, maybe topping at three, right? Like, in the crystal sword. So it's like, like I said, like, crystal sword was always going to speed up your fight. Yeah, there's a near 3000. And Fook going right. to cross the crystal. Fook trying to nerf. Yep. There's one. It's uh, Frisk. That's probably the worst possible outcome. All right. Yeah. Yep. So you're waiting. White Mage gets tagged. Or I'm taking a nuke right to the face. Uh, but and, and then right into that big bang. We uh, need. We need you to survive here. All right, we got oh, survived. Unnerf unnerfed, but all three stay up. Unnerfed survived, yeah. It's an, a, a, a RA1 free-flying nerf at, like, that way is really hard to hit. Um, you have to really practice it, and it's even in practice, it's easy to miss. So, managed to survive. The Berserks fall off here. Yeah, uh, neither of them have the Avenger equipped, I right. believe, so... They'll get one more round of unpowered swings, and then they'll be back to taking commands. You saw there where Sansa's swing was, you know, anemic compared. We are in the third phase, so... A well-resisted nuke by Papyrus. Uh, and we're getting boxes back online. Is that a missed cure 4 by Fu? That's unlucky. Unlucky if that's the case. Kane is back, focused up. We will try that cure four again. There we go. I can't imagine it was missed. Right. Th those yeah. healing numbers are the kind of numbers that indicate that he's got a reasonable amount of will. So I'm not sure what happened there. Maybe a missed target onto one of the fallen mm -hmm. people. Could be that. And going to yeah. top off that Cecil for safety. Makes sense. And here's Medio. Uh, we have plenty of HP. We might yep. even get some dodges. I think that that Heart's going to be going to be through this in a moment. Medio yeah. phase happens about 12k left and, or less. And there we go. Heart is through. So a GG to Heart coming in second place with a time of 1:30:33. All right. Um, and Hart has declined an interview, uh, as is any runner's right. Yep. Um, but, uh, you know, do you want to say, you know, once again, Hart uh, had a terrific race, uh, just got sucked in by the moon, 
uh, a little bit. And, uh, you know, if Golbez had been on the moon instead of uh, at the Twin Harp, we're talking about a lot different race here. We are, yeah, definitely. Um, so that's it for our show tonight, but there is still more Free Enterprise heading on, going on. And so we're going to head you over, send you over to Free Enterprise 2 for Starman versus Dr. Cossack. There's another Blue Moon waning match. Uh, remember, of course, not to spoil anything from this match if somebody wants to watch it back. Uh, that's something that we want to do in this community in general, so don't spoil anything. Or I hear there's these newspapers that people will use to, uh, to uh, correct your behavior. And uh, on all of the Free Enterprise family of networks, there are uh, matches tomorrow. And at 7 p.m. Eastern on RPG Limit Break, there's Cub Cubs Rule 21 versus Y2 Sky uh, right back here on RPG Limit Break. So definitely uh, join us for that as well. But uh, once again, uh, thank you to S. Grunt. Thank you to It's Spelled Aerith. Thank you to Mecca. My name is Sheep Launcher. And until next time, so long. Farewell. <laughs> Avita Jane, good night. <laughs>